What's up guys? Welcome back to the next fishing. Now today's video is going to be pretty different. It's actually going to be a video showing you guys my first truck ever. Now, this video, it does relate to my YouTube channel for many reasons. One, you always see me driving down to my pond or driving down to the pond in my neighborhood and fishing at it. And you guys are always like, are you 16? I didn't think you were 16. Well, that's actually been my dad's truck and I just drive it down the road because I mean, it's just driving down the road. Nothing's going to happen. But guys, by the time you're watching this, it's the day before my birthday, which means I'm about to be 16, which means I can drive. That means I can drive anywhere I want to to go fish at ponds, which means more content for you guys. So guys, this truck is gonna help out the channel a ton just as far as making content. It's gonna be awesome for making content to where I can drive to different places and go fish at people's ponds. Maybe I can even collab with some other YouTubers or just other fishermen. So it's gonna be great, guys. So now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the truck. As you can see, it's white, but that's about all you can see right now. I'm currently sitting on the toolbox just before I show you the truck too much in detail or anything like that. And anyways, we've done some things since we bought it. I'll just go ahead and tell you just kind of how it was. Whenever we bought it, it was a 2005, well, I mean, it's still a 2005, but the truck that we bought was a 2005 white Toyota Tundra. It has a V8 engine. Unfortunately, it's not four wheel drive. That's about the only downside to it, but the tires, they're pretty nice, so they might make up for it a little bit. But the things are, it's we've like customized it a lot more since we got it, so it looks pretty good now. At first, I mean, it was a good looking truck, but now I think it looks great. So I'm gonna tell you what we did to it, and then I'm gonna show you some pictures like before and after, and then I'm gonna give you a tour of the actual truck. So anyways, whenever we got it, the rims were just stock, and it was kind of sitting like this. Like this is the front of the truck, this is the back. It was kind of going downhill like it wasn't level. So the very first thing we did, we put new rims on it just because I wanted new rims. I thought that would look super cool. And also guys, if you think I'm putting so much money into this truck, it was an extremely inexpensive truck. So don't think we're out here spending like 10, 15 grand on it. I mean, it was like, it was not very expensive. But anyways, after we put new rims on it, I already thought it looked better. It looked pretty good, but it was still going downhill. So we ended up getting the front lifted three inches. So now the front sits about a half inch higher than the back which I mean, it's not like it's squatted or anything going like this, so it's pretty much level, but it, I think it looks pretty sick, guys. Also, a couple of minor things we did. The handle to the tailgate was broke off, so we had to fix that. It's actually a pretty funny story. A guy, the guy who owned the truck before me, he was working with some man, like a big man, and he was like, I'll open the tailgate for you, and whenever he went to open it, he ripped the handle straight off, so we had to replace that. That was a super inexpensive fix. Another thing we had to do was one of the lights was like messed up on the front, so we had to replace that, but other than that, guys, that's all we did to the truck, so now I'm gonna go ahead and roll into some before and after pictures. All right, guys, you have now seen the truck, so there's not much to hide. So now I'm gonna be giving you a little bit of a tour of it. Okay, starting right here in the back. I mean, there's not much to it. Tundra. Oh, not showing you my license plate. I don't know if that's pretty important that people see your license plate or not, but I'm gonna try to hide it. And then you, as you can see, it's a V8. Oh, right there, V8. Now you come over to the side. TRD off-road and guess it's off-road pretty sick and then we come down here to the tires and the rims these things look good in my opinion there you guys go you can kind of see the rims and stuff it's super sunny so it's making the tires look so much lighter than the rims but in person guys it looks sick these these things look great and now as you can see we have a toolbox back here pretty nice I mean I don't know what all I'd be putting in there but, I mean, I like having a toolbox. I think it looks cool. And we got a bed liner. Super important because I'll be sliding the kayak back in here a ton. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, guys. This is future Nathan jumping in the video right now while I'm editing it. Um, I did not. I was going to put the kayak back there on video, but unfortunately, I forgot to. Don't know how I forgot that. That was pretty important. But anyways, basically, the kayak sticks out about two feet. But I've got a way that I can bunch it and it's not going anywhere. So guys, the kayak will definitely fit in there. Don't worry about that. Anyways, back to the video. And then as you can see, here's what it looks like up here on the side by the doors. It's not like four doors or anything. You have to open this 
and then open this one. But, I mean, as you can see, I mean, it's pretty spacious. You got plenty of room in here. I reckon I'll go ahead and come on into the inside. I'm gonna have to take you off the tripod. All right, here you go. We got the little back seats. Not super spacious, but I'm not gonna have a lot of people sitting back here. Also, one thing that's super cool about this truck, I don't know if any other trucks have it. I mean, I'm sure they do, but let me show you. Come right here. Under the seat, you have storage, guys. You have this little compartment right here. I mean, not a ton of storage, but you can still put some stuff down in there. So now, let's come on into the front. Guys, this is an 05 truck, so obviously, I mean, it's not gonna be the nicest thing on the inside. We don't have leather seats. I mean, the radio is just pretty basic, but it's all I wanted in a truck. I mean, it's my first truck. So as you can see, we just got cloth seats. It's all gray interior. Honestly, I like the gray interior, so it's not like black, it's super hot. And tan, I just don't like the look of too much. As you can see, you got my little, sorry for saying as you can see so much, but I'll try to do better. You got your armrest right here. I like this. Then we got tons of storage here. This opens up. All this storage right here. Cup holder comes out. We've got like an ashtray, which is kind of weird, but I was told that's an ashtray. Then you got your radio. Pretty basic for an older truck, but hey, it plays the country music and really that's all that matters. So now I'm actually going to get out. I'll come to the driver's side over there in a second. I'm going to show you some more of the outside for now. All right, as you can see, the other rims right here. Sorry about my shadow being on it. Here's the angle from the front. Shoot, this might be a thumbnail. Yeah, that's pretty sick, guys. That's gonna be the thumbnail. Anyways, as you probably already saw, we got this brush guard, ranch hand. I don't know what you call it, but a bunch of people have been saying ranch hand. So, you know, we got this on the front. You guys know what it is. So if I hit a deer or something, you know, truck will be fine. Also, I mean, it just looks cool. I like the look of it. And then right here, we got the black Toyota sign. I like the black. It's coming on around, coming on around. I mean, that's pretty much it. Here's another angle of it. Here's some more angles. It's kind of shady back there. But yeah, you can kind of see the rims. We got the black, black little thing going down the side. I don't know how I feel about that. I think it looks kind of cool to go with the black rims and stuff. But now we're gonna come into the driver's side. Another thing we added was these floor mats. These things are super nice. We had like cloth ones in there before that. But you know, here's the wheel, it's Toyota. Also gray, love all the gray. Now, all the unimportant stuff up there. And yeah. One more thing to mention, this truck gets from zero to 60 miles per hour in 1.2 seconds. So I mean, that's, I mean, it's pretty all right. Not too bad in my opinion. But guys, let me know what you think of the truck. I honestly love it. Whenever I first saw it, I was thinking it was pretty good. But now that we've got the new rims, got it leveled, this thing looks sick, guys. If you know anything about trucks like Toyotas, the newer Tundras are a lot bigger, but I like the size. It reminds me of a Toyota Tacoma. It's about similar to that in size. And I mean, it's a good first truck. I'd hopefully it'll last me a while. The mileage on it is pretty high. It's like in the hundred thousands, but they do say Toyotas last forever. So I hope it does. Anyways, guys, this truck's gonna be awesome. It looks like a perfect fishing truck. I mean, perfect for a fishing YouTuber like myself. Hopefully you guys like it too. Just let me know what you think. Anything else we could do. If I could do anything, maybe lift it like two inches because that would look sick. But, I mean, I'm not going to get too picky or anything. I love it how it is. So next week, we get back to the normal scheduled fishing videos on Saturday. Hopefully I can get you a Tank Tuesday up. But, I mean, I'm not making them every week. It's just mainly if I have a good idea or anything like that. Let me know if I left anything out about this truck that I should have said about it. Or just ask me down in the comments. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video for today. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.